Welcome brothers, in today's video, I want to show you the thoughts of some women on what a relationship with a man is like, from the perspective of a Christian woman, to a woman who comes from a disastrous family, to a third woman who speaks the truth that many men keep silent in their marriage. Don't miss this video because it's quite revealing. Before we go on, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Brothers, we now have Super Chat active, so if you want to support this project, those contributions would help us a lot. Without further ado, let's begin. Hey friends, this is for the one who's standing for their marriage, but they feel weak and they want to give up. You know, marriage is difficult and I assume it's taken years to bring your marriage to the point that it is today, to the point that separation has been spoken of or even divorce. Change is not gonna happen overnight. It's gonna take time. So please don't give up. If you love your spouse, regardless of what they put you through, don't give up on them. You know what, God is doing something in and through the pain that you're feeling today. But you know what, friend, if you give up right now, you'll never see what God is preparing you for, which is something more beautiful than your heart could even fathom. Don't give up, God bless. Marriage is something very difficult to manage, both for the man and the woman, because they are two different thinking individuals coming together for a lifetime. But in these times, where we are accustomed to having everything easily, to dopamine addiction, to everything needing to be as fast as possible, and to planned obsolescence, we are developing the idea that if we don't like something anymore, we change it or look for something better. This greatly affects women, with things like TikTok and Instagram, where the idea of having thousands of suitors is sold, where they constantly receive messages saying they are worth a lot, where they keep hearing that everything a man does is to harm, deceive, or benefit himself individually. This turns marriage into a battlefield. This leads to increased distrust in both individuals. This is evident when women leave a marriage for simple reasons like being bored, not feeling excitement, or thinking the grass is always greener, similar to men who do not respect the commitment, abandon their families or fall into vices that make them weak like adult content. Therefore, it's difficult in these times to keep your relationship and yourself as a person away from these influences. This starts from home. If you don't believe me, watch the following video. Even when you have a child, that is your baby, not his child. Now, at the end of the day, that is your baby that you're going to have to provide for. And let me tell you how it is not just black women telling this. This is women across the board who started communicating and telling the younger girls and women around them to be able to stand in this society for yourself. I love that video. Go watch the whole thing. And that's 100% correct. I grew up in the South to a very conservative white woman who was left by her husband to raise two kids on her own so he could go marry a younger woman. And despite the fact that I had like purity culture drilled into me from a young age and you know all like the whiteness and the passive aggressive and ha 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 everything's fine that is not the message i got behind closed doors my mom was a different person to the outside world and inside inside she was like don't ever expect a man to take care of you <laughs> She taught me how to mow the fucking lawn. She taught me how to balance a checkbook. She put me on birth control the second I got a boyfriend. I was like, we're not even having sex. She's like, I don't care. I'm not raising your baby. She drilled it into my head from the day I can remember that a child would ruin my fucking life and that I cannot depend on men. That was the message. God. Believe me, this woman cannot be blessed because she ruined another woman. Then she wonders why a father figure is necessary. This is a woman who came from a household of pain. While I share the message of the first woman about a woman needing to understand that her child is hers, she must learn to take responsibility with the man with whom she has children. This is a clear message, because if she has a child with a chad, a man who brings nothing to the table but his seed, he may abandon her. But if her man is good and dies, it's also her responsibility. But back to this woman, her mother was a lady in society but a nightmare at home. She ended up making her daughter the man who was missing in the home, making her too independent, implanting a chip in her brain that a child would ruin her life. She ended up getting married at 42 to a man who likes dressing as a woman and will never have a child. That is the woman who needs a blessing. Do you think if that woman saw the final product of her creation, a woman who hates men, has an effeminate husband, and leaves no descendants, she might have chosen a different path? 
but let's continue. <laughs> Message. God bless this woman. And you know what? I don't know much about my grandmothers, but I know for a fact that one of them, that one on my dad's side was straight up being held hostage. She fucking hated her husband. He beat her. She had an affair with the neighbor for 20 years, had a child with him that everybody knew was the neighbor's child except him. It's still a secret. Don't tell anyone. And he refused to give her a divorce. And at her fucking funeral, this southern white man who was incredibly racist had the audacity to say, free at last, free at last, thank God almighty I'm free at last. At her funeral! And to quote, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And then he also said, I'm king of the mountain now! Ha ha ha! And then he married another woman, and Billy stole all his fucking money. Good for you, Billy. I loved my grandfather, but apparently he was a terrible man. Not to me, but to the women in his life. My other grandmother fucking hated her husband. I don't know why. Nobody talks about it, but they hated each other. I had never seen a happy marriage in real time in a household until I got in one. And I was like, wow, this is what it's supposed to be like. But like that creator says, women do all the emotional labor in the family. Women are the secret keepers. Women are the ones who've been warning each other. The men don't fucking pay attention. If they're not the predator themselves, they're not paying attention. They don't care. They just don't want to know. But the women, even the ones who enable these men, oftentimes are still warning us. Thank fucking God. <laughs> this is why I say that men should do DNA tests. Back then, they probably didn't have them. But brother, test your children, even if you don't tell your wife. Just do it. You might be in for a pleasant or bitter surprise. But getting back to the topic, disastrous people only leave disastrous people in the world. This woman comes from a dysfunctional family, now claims to be in a happy marriage, but all she does is spread a message of hatred against men. I think it's partly because she hit the wall hard. And believe me, the wall doesn't forgive, especially since she doesn't even have children. But I want you to see what disastrous marriages are like. One makes bad decisions one after another. This idea that the woman does everything right and only the man is bad is what they say when the man leaves them, tired of their abuses. If you doubt what I'm saying, watch the following video. This woman clearly explains why many men leave toxic women and marriages, even when they have children. <laughs> oh. Oh. So I know we don't talk about this often, but you know there are so many toxic women out there damaging good men and ruining marriages, yes? I mean, many of us women, Turina and Pisa and B. Yes, I understand we have different core needs in relationships, but I think we tend to forget that men too are human beings and that they do have emotions. I mean, just check yourself, right? You're always right. You're so disrespectful. You humiliate your partner among his friends and family. Eh? You take him for granted as if you did him a favor being with him in a relationship. You're not supportive. So you never apologize for anything at all. Yeah. You know the kind of uh, the, the kind of woman who always blames the man for their behavior. Yeah, that woman. For some reason, it's always because Daddy Jaden did this or that and it pushed you to abuse him. As in, for every toxic behavior you have, your man's character must have provoked you or something. Towards that, I want a man who can provide a legal oriented, a man I can grow with. But we're also the same woman who say, you do your things privately. My men will embarrass you. So we expect the man to build with us, to build for both of us as we work on our personal projects on the side come on guys a healthy marriage is a partnership you'll have to be team players and you need to learn to check in with each other i think if you can't trust your partner to have your back in that way you shouldn't be with them in the first place it is not fair to expect your man to show up for you yet you never do the same for him let me remind you that to treat a man well you need to give him the same kind of respect love kindness understanding that you would want as well whatever he lacks you got him yeah? it doesn't make him less of a man if he gets a setback assure him you'll be in his corner until you both make a absolutely many men married for love but were deceived for reasons like you didn't give me enough attention men who work eight to ten hours a day to support their family especially their wives only to receive the unpleasant surprise of a woman who enters the house fighting, complaining, belittling him, 
making him feel like worthless trash. That's why they get upset when a man has a mistress who treats him like a king, while his wife shames him for everything he does, even though she has never worked with him and has always done everything for her own benefit. This is the reality, brothers. Just listen to women's divorce speeches. From the start of the relationship, they begin saving in a hidden account from their husband, buying properties in their mother's name, marrying men only to seek a profitable divorce. Brothers, remember that on the wedding day, only the man marries for love, the woman for a lifestyle. Let's continue. Be his backbone, be his peace, keep him motivated, don't doubt him, don't talk down on his achievements, don't compare him to other men, however little. Some men tend to suppress their emotions and struggle to open up because, I mean, some of us ladies can be very dismissive of the fact that these men have feelings. Eh? We often fail to recognize how our dysfunctional behavior patterns destroy the safety of our men. So I need you to ask yourself today, do you seek your man's advice over whatever your mom or your bestie says? Hmm? Do you support your husband over because he's the man, he must have his stuff figured out? Hmm? Do you express gratitude for the little things he does for you? Or why you make him feel like Do you create a safe space for him to be vulnerable? Hmm? To speak up? Or are you those women who keep saying that he's a man, let him man up? Hmm? Do you respect him? Do you understand him? Do you protect his honor? Do you ever surprise him? Show compassion? Or do something nice for him? Hmm? By the way, deep down we know some of our friends, sisters, colleagues, or even our mothers are hell on earth they are very toxic so i'll give you an example right there is this one lady that i heard of who would constantly insult the husband in the presence of his children his friends family and sometimes she would even throw plates and cups at him but you see having been taught that a man should always be the bigger person this guy kept cool for days weeks months years and then one day he woke up took a shower walked out of the house and never came back he had had it but guess what she said this man was so irresponsible. He was a deadbeat dad. I mean, he walked out on her and the children into the arms of his side chicks. And guess what? Society believed her because, I mean, <laughs> she's the lady. She's the weaker gender, right? And then the man was cursed. And all his ancestors, I mean, how dare he walk out on his wife and children? Or he could even remain pretty a good father after the separation. Pay school fees, promptly send upkeep, send money, and whatever is expected of him as a father. But a toxic woman will do everything in her power to screw up this man's life, send him insults at midnight, stalk the new woman in his life, keep changing schools so that he can, you know, just disrupt the guy's peace, slander him on social media. Man, you know why? Because women are always right, yeah? But hey, a marriage can only work if you're both responsible for the energy you bring into the environment. So you want your marriage to work, and you should check how you're treating your husband. Seriously, these men go through a lot. And we need to learn to be empathetic towards them. Check yourself. Sometimes you're the toxic person. You hurt people. You need to do better. Learn. Wow. Applause to this woman. She spoke the whole truth, brothers. Do you know how many men just endure until one day they simply say, I'm leaving, to hell with everything? Men who have been destroyed on social media as we see in videos of women claiming their ex-husbands are the devil on earth. Then, like feminists seeking them out, they try to ruin their lives and jobs just because these men left a toxic woman who was ruining their lives. Men who have been scarred for life, traumatized, not wanting to ever marry again because a woman turned their life into hell, even isolating them from friends. Men who, even after leaving these women, continue to support them, giving money to their children, while these women from hell keep ruining their lives, preventing them from seeing their children, or trying to ruin any future relationships, or worse, going to their house, harming themselves, or falsely accusing them of harm, all because they refused to accept responsibility. Men who married for love wanted to keep fighting in their marriage, even when they had a woman who cheated on them time and again, still enduring their betrayals. Or those who saw the woman they loved and gave everything to, standing in front of a judge, tearfully accusing them of living a nightmare even falsely accusing them of physical abuse. Men who watch their wives associate with toxic women, be it friends or family, and see how their wives change from one week to another, turning the home into a total hell when they did nothing to cause it. Brothers, what we men keep silent, letting many women ruin our lives, just enduring and being cast as the villains. That's why I make this video, 
to carry this message about how men should protect themselves from women who are ruining good men. We've reached the end of the video, but before we go, the questions are for you. What story of a good man do you know who was ruined by a toxic woman? What do you think about women who come from a dysfunctional home? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Your support means the world to us and motivates us to create more content. Stay tuned for the next exciting video from The Wall.